grin on his face. <laughs> Scotty B Pacers down five halfway through the third quarter. Downtown Indianapolis. Turner. Consecutive eight, y'all. Eight league titles. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. Between crazy. the brand the nineties. That's crazy. Yeah, that's right. Hey, hey, I, 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 I don't even want to cut her off, but do you <laughs> imagine how many of those the Knicks could have had? <laughs> I would say at least two, right? Two. At least two. At least two. Yeah, at least. Two. At least two. They had. They had, uh, you know, players that were three players that were MVP in Jordan, Barkley, and Elijah Wan, and it was combined seven MVP awards between them. Wait, what? With uh, with uh, yes. obviously, with obviously That's Jordan true. taking five of those himself. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, <laughs> and, and arguments that he, you know, and this is another thing they were battling with each other as much as uh, as much as you know other teams were battling with them. These guys amongst themselves in talent wise and personal accolades were battling with each other, right? Especially so that nine like this. Yeah. Yeah. I know if y'all heard the story about where well, Larry Bird and uh, Magic Johnson tell all the time about how uh, Jordan came into their locker room and told them it was a new sheriff in town. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> you know, your time is up. Yeah, that's that time is up. <laughs> so like that's just that's uh, how they were. They were super competitive. You understand? And it, it, it gave for good basketball. Like, that's why most of these guys don't don't believe in the super team aspect. That's you right. know, you hear them say, you hear them say a lot that they would never have joined each other. They wanted to be better than each other. They wanted to see if they could beat each other, you know? That's right. And it's a different time, a different time. And also, not only were they scorers, not only, you know, were they the, the, the dunkers, the high flyers, you had the defenders of the year. You had Elijah <laughs> on who won the defensive player of the year. So, you know, this, this, this draft is deep, you know, if you, depending on who, who you talk to is the best. I, t I told y'all last episode what I thought it was the best though. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, for sure. But uh, uh, uncut. I believe you've got some uh, some sort of comparisons there for us uh, if you want to get up. But while you get that prepared, look. Uh, let me just say as well. Um, on this, so, uh, I mean, you know, Ebony like sort of talk, man. She's getting <laughs> mad. Man. Ebony, she, Ebony uh, sort of hit it on crazy, the head, man. and I know it's tough for some Nick fans to talk about uh, <laughs> to talk about Jordan, but I mean. Um, you've got, like we said, you've got John Stockton who, who, who still to this day untouched, probably will never be, never be, uh, I don't think it'll be topped. Not in this, not in the next 30, 40 years anyway, at least, um, which is his total all-time assist record. Um, it just, just one of a kind for that. I mean, the stories that I like, and this is what leads me to the anecdotes. Uh, you talk about how he, he, MJ walked in and said, there's a new sheriff in town. The one I like is where they talk about John Stockton and how they're like, uh, you know, this guy would pull up in a minibus in like a, you know, a little, <laughs> a little like people mover, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the, the, the soccer mom car and he pulls oh, up nah, and then, the soccer and then, mom car, bro. Hey, torch. Yeah. And then he would pull up and then he would, it was, but it was like, they were like, it was like the devil getting out of that car. You just, you <laughs> see this. You see this guy, this you know, this, this plane, that, and he would he come in, and score. he would, and that was the thing too, is he could score too, like this, he could score as well, like it just, it wasn't part, it wasn't something that he looked to do necessarily as much as he could. And they're like, don't be fooled, this guy could come in, and as much as he could tear you up, you know, passing the rock, he could tear you up shooting it as well some nights. So, I mean, yeah, that's you know, they said it was hard to stomach watching a guy turn up because you see all the other flash players turn up in their Ferraris and their whatever, and this guy's turning up with you know the kids in the back, <laughs> and then he just puts uh, you know, fifteen and fifteen on you. <laughs> that's what that's what having a high IQ gets you. Yeah, a high yeah, basketball IQ. That's what that, that happens. It doesn't, always, 
Most Go ahead, definitely. No, nah, yeah. I said I would have been looking at him like, all right, he pulling up. Look at this dude. What is he yeah. about to do? <laughs> after the game, would have been looking at him after like, he ain't just do that. But they say, yo, he was a tough, tough kid. Tough yeah. dude. He yeah, was, yeah. He, he, but he was tough. He come in the paint and just wouldn't care. That's right. <laughs> still yeah, wouldn't we, say nothing to you. Yeah, that's right. Just, just, just kill you with looks. So uh, I'm coming <laughs> different. Talk to us, Uncut. What do you got there for us? I know you got some comparisons that we're going to look at. I mean, if you're looking at these players in this draft, a lot of these players, you know, especially the first round, a lot of these players in the first round hold a lot of accolades. You know what sure. I'm saying? But you do <laughs> also, as you go down the list, you have some sleepers. You know what I'm saying? So you have some sleepers in, in Jerome Kersey, and you have some um, Rick Carlisle. And you also have Oscar uh, Schmidt. Yeah, uh, Oscar Schmidt from Brazil. Uh, yeah, never... yes, yes. And uh, fascinating fact about him that we found out just before the show, um, you know, made the Hall of Fame, but never played a game in the NBA. Uh, mm-hmm. Basketball, obviously wow. it's a basketball Hall of Fame. Um, yeah, so I mean, keep going on, Cut Man. Like you said, there's there's some gems in this draft that, yeah, and remember man, guys, got... it's like a 10 round draft. Yeah, <laughs> man, you got, you got people, you got, like I said, you got championships, you got, it's, the way the draft is through 10 rounds, you know what I'm saying? You got people that did certain things. Like, everybody wasn't a star. You didn't have to be a star. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Did you hear what you just said? Yeah, I'm black. You said 10 rounds, bro. <laughs> yeah. Was it ever 10? R- bro, they have a pick that's somewhere in there that says 185. And he's not, and he's not I, even the last pick. I'm pretty sure that's not even yeah, the last pick. Yeah, bro. That's why if you really if you really go through it, they had they, they had to cut it. Yeah, yeah. Like, they had to cut it. Was it was much they like the uh the NFL draft back then. Yeah. Yes. And there wasn't yeah. enough spots for that. No, right? no, it's, yeah, not, it's, it's not a roster of 48 people, right? It's a roster <laughs> yeah. of Yeah, and this is remember you still got the um you still got um the Sacramento Kings. They wasn't in Sacramento, they was in Kansas City still. Yeah, okay. of course. So then you got the Clippers, uh they was in San Diego, you know, yeah. so a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? This is before the lottery, I think. This is before the lottery. Yeah, the year the year before the lottery. Yep. Yeah, so a lot of things change, you know what I'm saying? But this draft right here, literally, like 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 you said, in comparisons, it's it's all killer. It's killer instinct. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm gonna dive into somebody, I'm gonna dive into Elijah Wan. And the, the reason why I'm gonna dive into Elijah Wan is because Elijah Wan is the only player that made people cry. He's on record making Shaq cry. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> he's on record making <laughs> Shaq, he swept him so bad. Shaq said he abused him so bad he cried. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's why Shaq became so dominant. He said, "Yes, so, it was Elijah that's one. That's Elijah right. one." And I mean, um, have you guys ever seen the clip of KG talking about him on his podcast? How he would, uh, because his voice, he had obviously, you know, the broken English. He was from Nigeria. For those of you who are, are unaware, uh, and he would hit you with the. Uh, um, uh, I hit him with the lateral movement. I hit him with the <laughs> lateral movement. <laughs> and uh, and KG used to say, you try not to laugh because of the way he said it, but he's talking about moving left to right like nobody else could. And like, he's like, and then he would hit you with it. And it was, and he's like, he can't do nothing to me. I hit him with the lateral movement. And it's just funny because of the way <laughs> KG says it too. And if you've ever heard Elijah one talk, it's like, and KG basically says, man, this guy, like, you hear that voice, you kind of want to laugh, but at the same time, he's just beating you and just beat you to the spot, and there was nothing you could do about it. Yeah, man, the things he did to David Robinson, that highlight reel is still out here with the shit. Like, David Robinson <laughs> was jumping all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Like, looking like a bird. Yo, yeah. he ain't know what was going on. You know and, what I'm and saying? Dave Robinson, no, with... no slum, that's that's for sure. Yeah, that, come proper on. Proper trash talk. <laughs> How you get proper trash talk? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, man. It was but... a lot of movement. That's yeah. funny. Yeah, man. It, it, it's crazy, man. It's definitely I'm crazy. Man. Start saying now, sound like what? <laughs> with the lot of movement. I'm gonna have to show you guys. Maybe we might have to splice it into this episode. The, uh, the KG talking about it, because KG says it even funnier than I could ever say it. Uh, KG replicates like a sort of like a mock version of his voice. So so funny. Um, but yeah, the, basically the point of that was KG saying that that was his trash talk, and you're like, what? And then his dude, you know, <laughs> does what he does to you. So, <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. but, but uh, you got us uncut. Yeah, yeah, man. But 
Yeah, man, that's, the, that's about it. But it was real deep, man. Like, if you, if you just compare it, man, like I said, it was a lot of killers. For 180 players, everybody didn't have to be a superstar. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them players do got accolades, do got rings, you know what I'm saying? Or was some kind of contributor somewhere along the line with what they team. You know what I'm saying? Not everybody fizzled out. Some of them became great coaches. Some of them became, you know what I'm saying, good GMs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, this draft class is, is A-O, it's legit. <laughs> For sure. For sure. But, 